April 15th is the date that Jackie Robinson broke the professional sports color barrier when he made his Major League Baseball debut with the Brooklyn Dodgers at Ebbets Field in 1947. This year, 67 years after Jackie broke the barrier, there was a report in USA Today that said only 67 of Major League Baseball players are African American. In Brooklyn that night, 67 years to the day that Jackie debuted in Ebbets Field, two New York City pro basketball teams, the Knicks and Nets, were playing each other at the Barclays Center where virtually both teams were all black. Before the game, Jackie's memory was honored in the arena and we spoke with players of both teams about Jackie and why there seemed to be a lack of interest amongst young blacks towards baseball. This is Brooklyn first year guard Marcus Teague. It made a difference for, you know, all African Americans playing sports. You know, uh, he stepped up in a big way for us and, you know, he just changed the world. You know? just, uh, I, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, alive, but, you know, I know a lot of, hear about him in school. You know, first African American baseball player, you know, uh, just, like I said, paved the way, you know, just made a new, new way for African Americans in, in the, you know, sports industry. When Brooklyn Nets center Jason Collins announced that he was a gay man, it was the first time an active athlete had come out in professional American sports. Some people even compared it with Jackie Robinson's debut. Both situations are different, and how similar they are is up for debate. But we did speak with Collins. Or right, Jason, just coming up as a kid, um, what did you know of Jackie Robinson? Obviously, I knew that uh, he was the uh, first African American to play in Major League Baseball. Um, obviously, played for the Brooklyn Dodgers, and um, um, uh, one of those people that will uh, forever be remembered in uh, uh, in history um, for all that he did. Right, and when Jackie broke the color barrier, it was about 17 years before the Civil Rights Act, and uh, it was the first time that a black was able to play in professional sports. Now, 67 years later, on the same day that he played at Ebbets Field and broke the color barrier here at the Barclays Center, we have two New York basketball teams, and you know, virtually both teams are all black. You know, something 67 years ago was probably unfathomable. So, what do you think is the significance of all that? <laughs> it's, a, it's a loaded question there. You know, um, I, I don't know if I can put into words uh, the effect that Jackie Robinson had on our society as a whole. Um, sports uh, transcends um, a lot. And um, it's sort of the great equalizer because it's not about your your race, your religion, your your creed, nationality, sexual orientation. It's not about any of that stuff. It's about do you have the talent to play? And Jackie showed that uh, he had the talent to play and and thrive and um, was a true example for others to, to follow. Okay. So today, of course, you know, today right now in Major League Baseball, there are hardly any African Americans playing. And actually, I'm writing a book on this, right? And whenever I ask uh, one of the coaches in MLB why there are not that many black Americans playing, they always tell me to ask the basketball players why they didn't play baseball. So my question to you is, you know, when you were coming up, did you ever try baseball? And uh, why do you think there's not so many African Americans playing in Major League Baseball now? Well, I, I think there are, um, with regards to why there aren't that many African American, there are other you know other sports uh, that they that African Americans gravitate towards. Um, and uh, for me personally, yeah, I, I grew up playing little league baseball, and uh, on my little league team was a, a pitcher by the name of John Garland who went on to win a, a World Series for yeah for the White Sox. So uh, very familiar with uh, the sport of baseball, and uh, but just. I, you know, gravitated towards basketball, and, um, you know, there are a lot of options out there. After the game, we spoke with Knicks big man Amari Stoudemire about Jackie Robinson night in Brooklyn. Before the game, they honored Jackie Robinson. Uh, 67 years ago today, he broke the color barrier in sports, so just how cool was that? That was great. I mean, anytime you have a historic moment uh, like that with, with a, not only just a, a great player, but he was able to endure so much during that time. Uh, it's great to honor him tonight. It was it was great for us to be a part of it. Amari, as a kid coming up, did you play baseball much? I did play baseball. Um, I couldn't hit any home runs, so I decided to turn to basketball and football. But uh, I talk to C. Sister Bathy all the time, and he's definitely trying to raise the awareness in in the African American communities to uh, to play baseball a little bit more. 
do you have just any idea why maybe there's not too many black Americans playing baseball now? I mean, we, we lean more towards uh, the, the fun sport, you know, as far as activity and just uh, up-tempo style of play, which is basketball and football. Uh, we love to be active, um, but I think baseball would be a, uh, a great sport for us to continue to grow in. Amari right, says he speaks with C.C. Sabathi about the stark decline of African-American baseball players, and we spoke with Sabathi as well. At what point did you realize that, that there were really not too many African-Americans playing Major League Baseball? Um, from immediately, immediately, you know, right when I got into, um, you know, the lower levels of the minor leagues, you know, it was probably four or five of us on the team, you know, when I was growing up, like I said, I mean, my whole little league, my whole all-star team, everybody was, you know, African-American. My high school team, you know, all-star nine were African-American. So, um, you know, immediately right off the bat, you know, I felt that impact. So what do you think happened to where the Sophie African-Americans play now in the majors? I just think that with, you know, lack of scholarships, can't get a full scholarship to go to college. Um, you know, baseball and, and, and football taking over with LeBron James and the Kobe Bryants. And, you know, you see these kids and you very rarely see a Jimmy Rollins or a Ryan Howard or things like that on TV, Prince Fielder. So um, it's just it's a combination of kind of, of lack of us, you know, marketing ourselves and getting out there and, and uh, you know, just lack of interest with everything else that, that kids can do today. How does it make you feel? Just to know that there's so few, uh, you know, young African Americans really interested in baseball, and, and there's so few in the major leagues. Um, it, it's definitely discouraging, but you, you just kind of keep keep going out and, and and trying to make yourself visible. You know, be visible in the community and, and, and try to make people aware of, of the problem and, and try to do whatever you can to help it. And finally. Brooklyn big man Andre Karolinko has been playing in the NBA since the late 1990s, and Karolinko grew up in Russia. So, Jess, when you were growing up in Russia, how much were you aware of Jackie Robinson? Oh, to be honest, uh, there is no baseball at all in, in Russia, and uh, I heard a lot about Jackie Robinson, but I never have a chance to see him play, and, and uh, I'm not a big, big baseball fan anyway. You know, I'm, I'm still, I'm still uh, wish that one day I can go to Yankee Stadium and see because it's, it's more... It's a classic, you know. So, just yes, growing up in Russia, what did the Yankees mean to you or, or mean to Russians? Nothing. <laughs> to be honest, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very respectful to the baseball players, to the NFL players, but, but it's not popular in Russia at all. You know, like, no American football, no baseball. You know, hockey, soccer, basketball, that's the thing we love. Thank you. Hey, thank you. All right, Andre Karolenko, good guy, and I guess – the United States won't have to worry about the Russians anytime soon at the World Baseball Classic. This is Samori Benjamin, and that's sports.